Hello and welcome, anyone on YouTube. Hi, my name is Teddy Chineris, and I just fucking finished watching uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier Season 1, I guess, technically. Episode 2? Um, fucking, what a, what a great episode. <laughs> it's 3 a.m. Yo, Mr. Dr. Connor, hello. We're gonna have a little discussion. I just started recording for the reactions video that's gonna go up on YouTube. We're gonna have a little discussion. I am recording this, uh, while I'm streaming, so I talk with my chat here. We're gonna talk about this and what we fucking thought about it. How did you like it? Cause goddamn, dude, I fucking loved it. I think I... Actually, yeah, no, not I think. That was absolutely better than episode one for me. Holy fuck. What'd you guys think? Yeah, Zemo hype. I was literally about to, like, the whole second half of that episode, I kept going, like, when are they going to bring in Zemo? Like, he's got to come in soon, right? And fucking right at the end, nice little tease. Oh, my God. What a perfect little episode. Oh, it's slap, dude. The John Walker setup was awesome. Very good because honestly, when they introduce him, it is very much like they could either make us empathetic towards him. Um, they could either like uh, or make him a complete asshole. You know what I mean? And they kind of started to make us sympathetic towards him. And then like this is just going to be a power trip kind of dude. All right. Got it. <laughs> got it. Also, Melty had a little uh, eye on emo. She's okay. She just honestly needed more exercise today. But I gave her her toy and filled it with, like, peanut butter. So she's she was going to town on that for a bit. But she's okay. Um, but, yeah, dude, fucking... Oh, my God. I just can't get over how good it was. I really liked the couples therapy scene. I was talking while we were watching it about how they are burning through uh, trailer footage. Like, most of the footage from the trailers was in episode one and two like most of it was we've already seen so like episodes three and onwards like holy shit um that's gonna be fucking i feel like mostly new stuff i don't know if it's power trip or just like overcompensated because of the expectations it's a little bit of both but it is very much the like I mean, he literally said it. I was going to say it's the very stereotypical, well, if you're not going to join me, you better stay the hell out of my way. And, like, he literally said something almost exactly like that. Like, fuck, dude. I will say really loved fucking touching on, not even touching on, like, fucking full-on discussion on systemic racism. Like, fucking loved that. Um, I wonder... I really think they're gonna like continue with that. I think the, I think honestly the big discussion and at least part of it for Sam is going to be like, I didn't think the the world was ready for a black Captain America. Like I think that's going to at least be part of it for him. I think that's gonna be a bigger discussion as they go along. And I think that's gonna be awesome that they're gonna touch on that. Like, holy fuck. Um, that was really good. Um, the fucking entire banter of them from beginning from when they first met in that hangar and onwards was awesome. Like, it was just nonstop, but it was paced really well with the action and whatnot. So good. The pacing. Incredible. It's absolutely going to be a huge theme, uh, theme, especially considering that's a huge thing for Anthony Mackie Iroh. That's awesome. That's really good. I thought it was going to be more of a like i thought they were going to touch on it but i didn't think it would be as big of a theme as they have already made it like i thought it was going to be a minor kind of uh like thing in the background i didn't think mcu would be like fucking would just do go all in on that you know what i mean and it seems like they are and that's fucking awesome and they absolutely should and fuck yeah, <laughs> like I'm glad that they're doing that. Fuck man, I'm trying to think. Oh, I really liked how the Bucky and Sam actually getting together was absolutely off of an emotional connection to Steve and not like a threat. You know what I mean? They then went off to fight the threat together, but like it was, they did not meet because of that. Like that was not what brought them together. It was literally a connection to Steve. 
I thought that was really, really good. I liked that a lot. I didn't think they'd triple down on it. Yeah, yeah. I did not think it would be, like, if they literally get to, like, Sam clearly, the, clearly in that couples therapy th scene, you could tell that there is more as to why Sam gave up the shield. Just saying it's what I thought was right is not a reason. Like, there are reasons as to why you thought it was right, right? Like, that's dodging. Um, that's that's dodging the question. So I think they are going to get into that, and I think it's, one, he didn't feel he was ready, and two, I think they're going to legitimately discuss, discuss that he didn't think the, the world's ready for a black Captain America. Like, I think that's going to be a big part of it. And if it is, like... That I, I'm so, that's so cool. I really want them to to go down on that. That's fucking awesome. Um, I'm looking at my notes to see if there are any other specific things that I'd want to point out here. Most of these are literally quotes that I laughed at. I was laughing so fucking hard, man. It was awesome. The that little girl kicked your ass up huh? was awesome because he straight up yelled. He said that and he was like, ah, <laughs> it was great um let me see and i will say the on that uh that fight scene on the the vans or the the trucks the big ass trucks i really did not expect john walker and the other dude fucking battle star i did not expect them to come in there that was completely unexpected because of the trailers the trailers just showed them fighting and then when they came in there i was like wow okay really cool they already dropped the seeds with the same guy telling Sam giving up the shield was the right thing to do. <laughs> Announced the white John Walker cap. Yeah, I I think they've definitely already done that. <laughs> it's Captain America. Say his title. Oh my god, no it's not. His name is fucking John Walker. Bucky Sam Banner this episode was some of the... It, so good. So good. Nailed it, dude. Like, I love the, um, like, uh, it's just two guys. We can take them. And he's like, Oh, let's see how many Red Wings sees. Let's see. Oh, oh, looks four, five. Count with me. <laughs> it was so good. Oh my god, it was great. And like, it just kept, it kept going. And I imagine you're gonna get a lot of people being like, "Oh my god, it's too much humor." It's fucking, it's no. I don't know. I don't know what people who dislike the MCU quips. I know that there are those people, but I don't know what they say. I don't know why they dislike it. But I imagine that those people are gonna be like, "It's too much." You know what I mean? But, like, honestly, the pacing was fucking perfect for that. Like, the pacing of going into the fight. Like, I really liked how they were mostly messing around, but it was clear that they were messing around, and they can still get it done. Like, they didn't do any sort of Guardians of the Galaxy, like, oh, whoops, I'm listening to music and I tripped or some shit. You know what I mean? They didn't mess anything up. They were messing around because they knew that they could, and they could still get the job done. And literally, w one of the things I have in my notes here is the second... Sam said there's an eighth person I think they have it hostage. Um, they both like fucking immediately sprang into action. Like, awesome. Awesome. The writing is super solid, but their chemistry, yeah. Chemistry is just unmatched. Super fucking good, dude. I'm I I'm so happy. <laughs> I was so excited for the show. Cause I love the Bucky and Sam moments from Civil War. Civil War is one of my favorites, and I fucking loved those. And I was like, it's gonna be more of that. And legitimately it is going to be moving forward in the mcu like i get why so many people really loved wandavision and we're super into wandavision we're super excited about it but i i had always been more excited for this and maybe that's just because i like standard mcu stuff but i really fucking was ready for it and so far it is nailing it dude oh my god <laughs> trying to think of any other moments i want to point out that i really liked i re the fucking <laughs> When he was, when, uh, what, Lamar Hoskins said he was, uh, Battlestar, and Bucky's like, Battlestar? Stop the car. <laughs> that was awesome. Teddy a capstan. Honestly? Kinda. Honestly, kinda, dude. I really do want to do an MCU rewatch. I, this is on a separate topic, and I, if anybody watches this on YouTube and has a different opinion, don't kill me. Just don't kill me. I, I expect it, but don't do it. I really fucking hated the fucking Zack Snyder cut of just like so much. And when I finished it, I was like, I should go watch Iron Man and all of the other 
uh, <laughs> all of the other MCU movies really badly because I need to watch that. I committed. I said it. I hate it. You can't tell the internet to not do something. I just fucking did. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to fucking do about it, Melty? Oh, my God. Well, I'm going to wrap up the YouTube recording. Because uh, if you don't know, every Thursday night on twitch.tv slash Teddy Chineris, we watch the episode together. Then we have a little discussion like this. You can be a part of it. Twitch.tv slash Teddy Chineris every Thursday night, 2 a.m. Central. 3 a.m. Central if you want to join for the discussion afterwards. But yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, I'm trying to think. Are there any other little bits of uh, from the episode that I want to throw in here? We'll never go a week without MCU ever again, apparently. Fuck yeah. Imagine doing an MCU rewatch after all these shows, dude. Oh my god. That's a nightmare. Star Wars will fill the gap. That's true. That's true. Um, I'm trying to think any other moments I want to throw out. I, I really like the uh oh you the White Panther now. Yeah, the Black Falcon part was good. Um, but I liked Bucky being like, it's actually White Wolf, and he's like, huh? <laughs> That was great. The Black Falcon bit was really funny with uh, Falcon, with Sam, like, messing with the kid. The scene with the cops, man. I can't get over the scene with the cops. It was so fucking good. I was amazed. I, I just sat there in silence being like, oh, my God, they're fucking doing it. Oh, my goodness. So good. I, I can't wait. I want to see more of that, honestly. Um, Let's see. I'm trying to think. Let me look through my notes here. I think I already mentioned this. I don't know. But I really like that the couples therapy scene was not just comedy and it actually moved shit forward. Um, it clearly did not move shit. It did not fix shit immediately. You know what I mean? Bucky was ready to actually try and work through it because it seems clear that he's been doing therapy and that not just clear because we've seen it, but clear because of like his emotional response there. Um, but Sam did not want to and would just was not trying. Bucky was trying and Sam wasn't. Um, but I think by the end, they will have worked through that little scene. And I like that. And I'm excited to see that. Next fucking week, we got another episode. Someone, please, if we ever have breaks, please tell me because I will be... Whew, I will... I, I just need to be prepared. <laughs> I need to be prepared for it, you know what I mean? Bucky takes everything way too seriously. Even therapy, yeah. He did a good job, though, you know? He was, he was doing it. He's doing what you're supposed to be doing instead of Sam that was just like, nope. Uh, but yeah, that's my main thing. I'll continue to talk with y'all in a bit in the chat here. But if you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much. Follow on Twitch and Twitter, Instagram. You're already on YouTube. Subscribe, hit the like button, share with your friends, all that good stuff, and we'll see you next Thursday.